Remember back at CES, I had a look at some of the really cool robots that were coming out, and I told you that I was going to get a chance to actually see one hands-on. And here we are now with the Navimo I-105E. This is a robot that is going to mow my neighbor's lawn. Their lawn is in much more need of it than mine, and we've sort of set this up as an obstacle course. So as you can see, the yard is very undulating. There's gopher holes, there's weeds, there's uh, very real stuff. This isn't some, you know, fake made up for TV demo. And we also threw in some of my kids' toys and a, and a ball, stuff that you would probably have laying around because it does have this camera on it where it has a 140 degree field of view and this algorithm and this kind of AI setup where it will identify the objects, avoid them. So even if it should be mowing there, it's not gonna run over your kids' toys. Or at least that's a theory, we're gonna find out. So to set this up, you have to have the charging station like we have here, so it will auto charge. It'll go back to its home. Even if it runs out of power while it's going, it'll remember where it left off, go charge and then get back to work. And then on the other side down there, we have an actual GPS antenna. So the way it works is the antenna and the mower itself are communicating back and forth as to its location. So that way it can get up to a meter, like within three feet. See, it likes that. It can get up to a meter of accuracy, meaning it's not gonna you know, run off the cliff or anything like that. And the big thing, the reason I was impressed with this and why I wanted to, to do a video was it doesn't require any wires. I've seen these in the wild, actually in Japan when I was there recently, and they had wires everywhere and this whole setup. So if you've looked into these, this one is gonna be the most advanced one that's gonna just kind of be the easiest and to set it up and just let it do its thing. And now we're gonna give it a go and see if it can actually do it. So to get started with it, once you have the charger and the antenna set up properly, you need to create a map. And we can do that by actually controlling it with our phone, like driving it ourselves, or we can have it do its own AI map. And then if it does run into any issues, we can hit the stop button. So once it's connected and set up, we'll go ahead and click create map. And here's exactly how you can do that. You can see I can just drive it myself or I can have it do it on its own and there's the issue where it'll find stuff that's in the way. I'm actually gonna go move that stuff so it doesn't create the map that with that stuff in there, but I do wanna try that later and see if it'll go around it. Okay, when you first set this up, you're gonna to wanna to, you know, give it kind of the right settings, the right scenario. Get this guy. Okay, now we're gonna start mapping. All right, now I need to be near it in order to get this to work. So I'm gonna click that. Okay, I'm trying to go to the edge here. So this is kind of where the edge of the yard begins. So we've reached the starting point. So we're gonna draw, kind of drive it here. This is the perfect test because of just how, like I don't know if you could design a more difficult test for something like this. And we are approaching the starting point. We have our map, I'm gonna click done. We've returned to the starting point. And there you go, please select an element to edit or tap add more to add a new zone. So this is just all one zone. You can see the map that I just created right there. And I think I'm just gonna click save. Congratulations, the map. Okay, we're gonna quit mapping now. And now it's time to mow. So you can see we're still at 100%. You can see where the mower is, if I can zoom in, where the mower is right now, where the charger is. So it knows that those two things are there. And we didn't do anything, but you could definitely add like, here's a tree, here's a rock and all that kind of stuff. Just kind of keeping it simple for now to show how it works. And I'm gonna click mow. So after it did the first lap around, it's actually kind of taking a different path just back and forth here. And you can hear it going in the background and see on the app exactly what's happening. The new route it's taking, you can see the progress, you can see the battery left. And one thing that's really amazing about it is just how quiet it is. You always think of mowers as being this super loud, you know, you wanna go inside. You could easily just be sitting out here having a conversation and not even know this thing is running. 
And so that's kind of neat. It's 58 decibels is what they tell me, but just standing next to it, it's, you can hardly tell unless it really hits a rough patch of grass what, what's going on. All right, we're at about 30% of the way done here, and now it's time to see if it can actually see the toys that my kids left in the yard and if it'll avoid them. So it keeps going back and forth like this. I'm just gonna pop these guys down there, see if it figures that one out. Maybe another one over there. Haphazard as the kids actually do leave stuff around. Oh, it found it. Uh-oh. Turning around. Missed a spot. Thinking about it, thinking about it. I think these hills give it a challenge is when it's trying to steer. There it goes. All right, so it went around it. Oh, found the other one. Nice recovery. Going around it, yeah, so it, it knows what it's doing now. And it did close the gap a little bit on the other side of the green one. I think that it still has a patch here that it needs to do, but pretty smart. Okay, so it's been doing this yard the whole time and it is running out of battery. It, it ran out essentially, it's at like 17% right now. So it's heading back to charge. And after it charges back up, it'll go back and remember where it left off and pick it up from there. So one of the cool features, if you have a larger space, this is gonna work for you. You can get different models from an eighth all the way up to a quarter acre of space that it'll mow. So pretty cool feature, one of the new AI type features and just really the advancement of that, you know, digital world with a physical world, which I love. So there it goes. Back on its little charger, plugs itself in. So honestly, pretty impressed. I mean, we're just sitting back, relaxing. This thing's 35% done with a pretty big, oddly laid out yard with a lot of different undulations and gopher holes and all those things. And, you know, avoiding different stuff. It, seems to do a great job it seems to really know what it's doing like here it just got stuck actually and so it came back because there's a little drain right there yep and it's figuring it out so they like to say you know effort free lawn care and i'm believing it it's quiet it's efficient it goes back and charges when it needs to you can set it up on a schedule so you know, whatever days of the week or whatever, you can just automatically have it go and you can just set it and forget it. So I really like this. This is the stuff that, you know, it's not just the digital innovations, AI, this and that, you know, new selfie filters and crap like that. This is like real AI in the world. So I'm really excited about this. And I think that, I don't know, you should definitely check it out. I'm gonna put a link in the description if you guys want it. Uh, there may be a discount for a limited time. So make sure to go check that out. And thanks Navimo for sponsoring this episode.